Hello, everyone, and welcome to a brand new episode of the Press the Action Button podcast. It's almost time for E3, which is like, what, two weeks away? Yeah, it's pretty close. Uh, I believe it's like the 11th or yeah. something. Um, shortly, two days after my fucking birthday, right? Because it's always, it's always right around my birthday, so I can't, I make sure, so I can't get all the right. conferences on time. <laughs> well, Xbox can... 9th, so... Yeah, that is my birthday. <laughs> nice. Um, but, um... It's coming up, so we decided we'll go ahead and knock out the E3 preview content uh, episode instead of getting that done, like, a couple days before, which is what we usually do. We're not getting it done at all, which we've also done in the past. We're ahead of the game this time. Yeah. Um, so, like, you know what's missing from this year's E3? No, a lot. The Soldier Boy Conference. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Jesus. <laughs> I'm so mad that we didn't get to do the podcast where we just rip on him and his attempt to enter the gaming industry, because that was the funniest shit ever at the end of yeah. last year. I legitimately hope that he made a lot of money off idiot people paying for that shit, because if they spent their money, then they deserve it. Yeah. Just believe. Ugh. Yeah, despite only having one hit, the guy's actually done pretty well for himself since that one hit. Like, he's never really gone away. Uh, and he's had, like, other business ventures that have made him a shitload of shit ton of money. As well. I don't... I'm gonna date myself. I don't know what his song... I, I only knew... Uh, I only knew of him when this thing came about. I never really... I never heard of him before, so it's, it's like, oh... I just thought, like, oh, it's a, it's a rapper, and he had no idea, so he's like, I'm, I'm gonna get people. <laughs> yeah, uh, to his credit, he actually is a legitimate gamer, like, oh, loves nice. video games, collects games, collects consoles, that kind of shit. He's a legitimate gamer. But I don't know what the fuck he was thinking with that thing, you know? Dollar signs. <laughs> yeah, that's about it. <laughs> Uh, he had one hit like a decade ago called Crank Dat. No it was, idea. It was a shitty song, so you ain't missing oh, out. Yeah. <laughs> I don't need to hear it to, to imagine that. Yeah. But, God, if there was a Soulja Boy conference, I would die fucking laughing at that shit. What's the, um, what's the one that just shut down the the service that I couldn't spell when they tried to launch that console. Ouya or Ouya. Ouya? Oh gee. Yeah, they just then they just shut down like their online service. Yeah, it's either which, shut, how, either just shut down or it's shutting down very soon. I don't right. know which. How was that was still you know? Yeah. The, the big news of that was the Ouya was still around. Yeah, right, yeah. The, what the Ouya was what the Ouya was and everybody got excited for it before it released. But it was um they were going to make, uh, and they were going to essentially make a, a brand new console that would make Android games yeah. playable on your home theater. Is what it? That's basically what it was. Just, who wants to play Candy Crush on their TV? Nobody wants to play Candy Crush on their TV. It, people got excited about playing Candy Crush on their TV, and then they got the chance to, and they went, well, wait, I really don't want to do this. I, every Great. single game on this I can play on my fucking phone. What they really needed was to push for developers to have games ex that you could only play on the Ouya, and they didn't really do that. Well, yeah, you're not going to develop for a console that four people bought. Yeah. It, it, it was uh, it was a big it was a big deal there for a while because it was the uh, for a while there it was the uh, highest grossing Kickstarter ever. Yeah, and now it serves as kind yeah. of a warning about how wrong Kickstarters can go. Yeah, uh, there have been others that have gone more horribly wrong than that one, but yeah, Ouya definitely won't have a presence at this year's E3. No, maybe in, like, the R.I.P. section. 
<laughs> Maybe. Like Oscars when they put like the memoriam you know? <laughs> <laughs> I, I could just imagine the E three crowd like they're doing the R I P section of like the Ouya's being shut down this year and someone shouts from the crowd. That's still around Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot about that thing. That is a piece of shit. Apparently, yeah, the controller wasn't very good either. Which imagine? No, it, it looked like it either looked like the mustache of a guy who like forcibly escorts his wife out of a restaurant, or like a shitty boomerang. <laughs> yeah, kind of like Sony's initial design for the PlayStation Three controller. You remember that thing? Yeah. Yeah, that the the gray, just like the what the fuck were you thinking controller? And then they came back to their senses and made another version of Dual Shock. Yeah. And yeah, it turns out people still really like the Dual Shock design. Yeah, yeah, just don't fuck it up. Yeah, it's not hard. Yeah. If it's not broken, don't fucking fix it. You know. Right. Okay, so, um, Electronic Arts on June the 8th, that's the first one, it, it's, it doesn't have a time list, it's just Electronic Arts on so June they're, 8th. They're doing let's, a, hmm? I so that's what I thought. Yeah, that, I, uh, everyone, everyone else has times listed except for EA. Yeah, I just don't remember many of them doing Saturdays, maybe I'm, just, my memory sucks apparently, but... Anyway, so it's EA's the first one. Yeah, EA's the first one. Okay. And and let's be honest, Electronic Arts show is going to be Electronic Ass. Well, I mean, it's it's probably the perfect one to just start and get out of the way. Yeah. Because it's just going to be like... EA doesn't really have to do... I'm, I, honestly, they don't even have to do a stage show just because they're, they're so... Per, you know exactly what you're going to get with them. Yeah. Although it would be nice if they didn't go out there and immensely piss off some of their fan base like they did last year with uh, that Command and Conquer mobile game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, last year, wasn't it um, their big thing was like they had Battlefront 2 like playable and you could watch like the stream of it or whatever, but... That blew up in their face. Yeah, because I mean, as soon as they start talking about, you know, microtransactions and then everyone was still pissed from the first battlefront i, I just i think i thought it wasn't that last year yeah that was last year yeah that's what i thought because I, I just remember like it kind of it didn't really go over that well and no one seemed to really be that excited for battlefront 2 yeah it really killed excitement for it yeah. and Obviously, they're probably going to announce a new Battlefield because they do that every year. I kind of wish they'd do what Ubisoft did and, and just take a year off or, or go every other year or something, you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I I remember the trailer for that Battlefield and just how laughably terrible it was. Yeah, it, SJW bullcrap aside, it still, it still wouldn't have been a good trailer, I mean... The, the more you just examine it, the more you notice things wrong with it. Why yeah, the yeah. fuck are those uh, 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 Churchill tanks absolutely booking it? They weren't that fast. Yeah, Why no. the fuck is a British soldier carrying around a katana? Stuff like that. Yeah. Like, I think there was a robot at some point. Yeah, it was weird. It was very yeah. bizarre. I, I know that, that game... I'm pretty sure it bombed. I never, I didn't really look at the sales figures, but I, 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 it couldn't have done very well. And just their conference last year was just like, it was kind of sad because they didn't really have excitement, you know? Yeah. And I can't imagine they're going to have excitement this year either. No, I, I figured for some reason I feel like this year they're going to put more of an emphasis on their sports games just because, like, that's what's... I mean, yeah, they have a shit ton of other things because they have so many properties that sell, but, you know, so many people buy the sports games. And, you know, honestly, not that I care, but they would be smart to actually focus on them more, honestly. Yeah, yeah I don't care about sports games, but I wouldn't be surprised either. Uh... I mean, what else do they have? Like, uh, Battlefield got lambasted and, and 
it's going to be hard to win those people back. Yeah, Battlefront I mean, but- 2 was a gigantic failure. Fucking... What was the other one? Anthem was almost dead on arrival. Was that EA? Was Anthem EA? Yeah, because it, it's Bioware. Who, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Anthem is is one of like the biggest, I think, blunders of the year. Maybe the biggest. Like, Jesus Christ. Only because Fallout 76 was last year, but yeah. <laughs> well, I, I put Anthem far above Fallout as far as a blunder just because of... You know, they have so much more reach, you know, with, e- with it being EA. And, you know, they closed E3 with that game, what, two years in a row? Yeah. So you had you had this this game from EA that's going to be this mega property. You know, huge, like, they're one to overtake Destiny, you know, with, and, like, you know, they show the trailer and you're like, wow, you know, the concept seems really cool. What's, it gonna, what's the gameplay going to look like? And then when they finally show gameplay, it's just like... Ah, fuck. And then it's like, well, nothing but microtransactions. It, it's good broken when you watch it. Just, I cannot understand how that game was allowed to release. Yeah, I think it's just a case of uh, they had been, because Bi- Bioware had been working on this game on and off yeah. for like a fucking eight, nine years or some shit like that. I think EA probably tried to give them time, which is we're fucking rare for them and they and Bioware who uh, we can admit that it's at least partially Bioware's fault that it turned out yeah, the way it sure. did. I love Bioware to death, but it's partially their fault. I love them, but man, their track record lately. Yeah. And I and I still give them slack on things that people blast them on, but I don't know. I feel like they they've definitely been kind of on a downward spiral. Yeah. It, I mean, it, it all kind of started unraveling when people got to the end of Mass Effect 3. Yeah. And both you and I were pissed off at the end of Mass Effect 3. Yeah, the end sucked. And and I actually, like, the last Mass Effect game, Andromeda, I personally thought was fantastic, but... You know, it wasn't well received by a lot. No, just because there was some, they had to fix a couple things when it came out, which is getting to be a problem with too many games. Yeah, but I, I hate when games release in an incomplete state. I fucking hate it, but it's so yeah. common. Yeah, and you know, I, I I completely understand deadlines and you know money, but they're just shooting themselves in the foot. It, it just seems like to me lately, Bioware has not the Bioware that it used to be. So you look at an Anthem, I mean, Jesus Christ, they couldn't have been dealt a bigger blow with that game. Yeah. And I live in constant fear of the day I wake up to the headline that EA has closed Bioware because they have done that with so many fucking companies in the past. You know, I don't think that they'll close Bioware, but... I'm kind of I'm looking at their press conference. So if if they go through that press conference and you don't see anything about Bioware, because I I, I don't really think they'll talk about Anthem. Maybe I don't know if they if they're still going to try to like salvage what they can. But if they don't talk about Bioware, I could see them doing some cuts on the, on on them for sure. Yeah, they they need to uh, get up on stage. They need to have at least a fucking CG trailer for. Uh, not not like the little teaser we got a full on CG story trailer for Dragon Age 4. Yeah, for sure. I I agree. I would they would be something. I mean, they've got to put something together to, to kind of they need to win back some of their good grace. Uh, I don't want I don't want BioWare turning into another rare to where like you had this great company that had so much potential and just fucking you know, whatever happened. Yeah, and then they get they get this game together that looks like it's going to be their best game in like 20 years, and it turns out to be kind of a flop, which yeah. is what happened with uh, Rare uh, with Sea yeah. of Thieves. Like, that yeah. game was not the savior for the company that everybody was hoping. No, God, no. No. 
which sucks because it looks. I, didn't, I haven't played it, but it looks really fun. They they still update it and do stuff with it, and like that's awesome. But yeah, you only get to make that first impression once, mm-hmm. and if you don't stick the landing when your game initially releases, it's pretty much unforgivable. That the instances where people come back to it and go. Okay, it's awesome. It's worth playing now. Are extremely rare. I mean, yeah. the only one I can think of that had that happened with is uh, No Man's Sky. Yeah, that's that's exactly the game I was going to say. Like that, that is one of like I, one of my all time favorite stories in games because I love that game when it first came out because I'm just fucking weird. But what they've been able to do and how they've turned around and now they have this like you know, critical hit and sh- ton of people play it and they constantly update it. And man, like that, that is one hell of a story. Yeah. Yeah. Mistakes were made early on. Oh yeah. It, especially like with the development team, just going silent to all the criticism for like six months. I mean, granted that they, they, during those six months, they were working their asses off to you know, try to get a maze, maze, massive I, update to bring it up. Isn't, to- as much as it didn't seem like at the time, I think they literally, I think they legit made the best move. They just, you know what, instead of, instead of getting out there, because as soon as you start apologizing, what's going to happen? It's like, you're going to have to apologize for the same thing over and over and over. And then people are going to see you apologizing. And then they're going to, you know, latch on to the fact that you were wrong about something. And just yeah. completely tear them apart. And yeah, they got shitty press, but them just staying silent and working on that game and then they that was the best decision they ever made yeah i just think i think that they not apologize but say we're still working on this game it will get better but they didn't even say that which i think that's a little bit of a mistake personally but uh they need they are going to show off uh what is the respawn Star Wars game that they're working on? It's oh shit, what's it called? Fallen Order. Yeah, they need to show off some of that, which I'm looking forward to. I hope it's good. Yeah, I. Um, it'll just depend on gameplay. Like the CG trailer. I mean, yeah, it's cool. You know, and it's a cool idea. It's a, it's a cool idea, but it's all going to depend on that gameplay. I mean, if it looks goofy or just you know whatever because they're they're getting so much hate for how they've handled star the star wars franchise which is unreal i mean i can't imagine a company having star wars to be able to publish star wars games and not putting one out every two days yeah um they've had it they've had the license for like five or six years and they put out two star wars yeah. games when you have a franchise that you can literally make any type of video game with that franchise, any type, and put it out, and you put out two games, both online shooters, it's just like, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah, and give they, it to the, uh, give it to the Need for Speed team, you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, yeah, they make a new, fl- uh, or is that Activision? Uh, no, you is Need for Speed. Hang on, it's breaking up. Yeah, okay. I think EA is Need for Speed, right? Yeah, EA, EA is Need for Speed. G- Which, give them, give give it to the Need for Speed team and go. Here, we want you to do a pod racing game. Have fun. Yeah, pod race. Honestly, they could do, they could do a game where you have all different kinds. You have aerial batters. You can do pod racing. You know, just different things they they could do. I, I just, I don't know what the fuck they're doing with Star Wars. I hope this new game is cool, but at the same time, it's like, so we're going to get one game, who knows when this is going to come out. And the, and why have they never gone, we have the Star Wars license, and we have the RPG company that made the best Star Wars game ever made. Yep. Squish. Get to it, I aware. You know what I mean? I, I don't get it. I don't fucking get it. Like, I know when the, the MMO came out and they said like they weren't going to do any, any more of the, the console RPGs standalone. They would only focus on the MMO. It's like, god damn it. It's just... Make a new one. It just seems like smart business. For fuck's sake. 
you know, as a consumer, I would those the first one is my all time favorite game. So it's like Jesus. Yeah, it's probably top ten for me. It, it's an absolutely amazing RPG. Oh man! Like, even oh, without yeah. the Star Wars license, it would be amazing. That's yep. how good the right. Oh yeah, yeah. But it's and it, it's like the perfect game for Star Wars too. And role playing games are big right now, anyway. So it's yeah. But and yeah, God damn it, we deserve a good triple A one after like Anthem fall fell apart and sucked and Fallout seventy six sucked yeah. too. Do you have any any EA predictions that you think? Or? Well, I would love to see them do that. Uh, yeah, that I would think be I think they need to announce something Star Wars though. Oh, something else. Yeah. Yeah. And there's so many things that you could do. I mean, do a third person like lightsaber battle, like uh, uh, uh well, the Eric Tosser, whatever that game was. <laughs> well, something actually good, but I was yeah. thinking of uh, oh, what's the game with Kyle Katarn? Oh, um, yeah, I know what you mean. Jedi Outcast. Yeah, yeah. oh, that, that awesome. series, like. Like, you have the license, make another one of those. I realize you can't get Raven software to do it because Activision is fucking wasting Raven right now making Call of Duty games. Yeah. Raven is such a talented company. Let them make the kind of first-person shooters that they want to make, which are not Call of Duty games. I'm not even trying to shit on the series. I'm shitting on Activision for wasting them. Yeah. Yeah, I don't get it. Let's see who's after that. Microsoft. What? Yeah, on Microsoft. My birthday. Hmm? Yeah, that's on Sunday. Yeah, on my birthday. Uh, this is Microsoft's year to fucking bring it, isn't it? Yep. Said Sony for some reason. Sony is doing the Nintendo thing where they're doing the state of they're doing what they call the state of play, which is basically a Nintendo Direct. But so yeah, for sure. I Which, think I think Sony shortly after E3, I see them announcing some kind of conference show, not so much a direct, but not like a pre-filmed. But I see something because I I think that this summer they're going to announce the PlayStation Five. Yeah, they're going to announce the PlayStation Five for release next year, I think. Yeah, and I I, I really think they'll announce. They're going to wait till after E3 and do some kind of a stage show somewhere, but. Microsoft, I mean, Jesus Christ, this is the best opportunity they've ever had to like, just own E3. Yeah, this is this is easily their best opportunity to just fucking get up on stage and just absolutely wow everybody. You know, and I hope I, they do. But, yeah, I oh no, I, Lord, go ahead. Oh, I was gonna say I love the Xbox. I'm a huge Microsoft Xbox fan, as I am, you know, PS4. Like I, I love all of them, the Switch. So I. I want them all to succeed, and I just want, I tell you, like, I think Microsoft needs to go up there Sunday, and as soon as that conference starts, you see the Halo logo, just go right into it. Yeah, give us, give us some, uh, gameplay, uh, yep. what's the next one called, the next Halo? Shh, Infinite, In Infinite. In Infinite sounds right. Yeah, let's go, let's, let's roll Halo Infinite. I'm just super excited, because I, I just want it to be... A good Halo game. Yeah, the one thing I definitely, one thing I definitely cannot fault uh, three four three on is how good the weapons feel to fire. Oh, like, man. oh my God, the weapons in their Halo games are so much fun to fire. Yeah. Did they do? Did three four three do Reach? No, that was still. Uh, was it? That was okay. Bungie's last one. That was Bungie's last. Okay. Which God, is coming to the uh, uh, Master Chief Collection. Which yeah, is dude. I adore that game so much. I was just thinking about playing it the other days. I couldn't remember which one, who made it. Which, but, yeah. I'm actually pretty excited to play that 4K, because uh, the Master Chief Collection is a pretty impressive remaster, especially mm -hmm. if you have uh, the Xbox One X, because they play yeah. so goddamn smooth on that system. I know, I need to get the, I need to get the X, but... I don't know, maybe they'll announce another Xbox this year, we'll see. 
I would be a little bit surprised. I think they're going to hold off on that, I think. You think? I think we're going to get plenty of exclusive announcements, especially since they've signed, like, every company under the sun recently. Yeah, I mean, that's good for them. You know, that's what they, they needed to do. Yeah, tell us what Ninja Theory is doing. Yeah. I don't... I want to think, like, I remember last year they showed the trailer for that new Gears game, and I I think I'm finally done. Just I like Gears 4, but the new one, the new one they showed looked pretty stupid to me, and I just, I don't know. Yeah, they, they showed uh, multiple Gears games, didn't they? They showed that one, and they showed uh, the one that where the, all the characters look like the vinyl pop figures or oh, whatever. Uh, yeah, that's fucking, ugh, that's stupid shit. I mean, Weren't I they going to do an RTS game set in the Gears universe? I had heard that at one point. I'm not sure if that's like a confirmed. I wouldn't be against that because I thought Halo Wars was pretty good. Yeah, no, like Gears is a great you know game universe that you can do other things in for sure. The one missed opportunity that I saw in Halo Wars was give us a Covenant campaign. How awesome would it be to see things from their perspective, you know? Yeah. And I don't mean just playing the Arbiter in two, because that's like he switches sides in that game, you know? It was cool, though. I, I want, like, this is, this is a pure Covenant campaign. This is how they work. It'd be a good opportunity to show us what the Covenant is exactly like from an insider's perspective. Yeah, it'd be cool if they, they did something else with Gears. We'll have to see. I mean, I, I feel like Gears will have a big presence just because, you know, it's not what it used to be, obviously, but it's yeah. still something that's going to sell, you know. I think that, I think Halo, I think Halo could be huge again. I don't know if it will ever be what it what it was, but if it, if it was going to be, now would be the time. Yeah, um, th th they need to come out strong with it. Th they need to let fans know that uh, it is in good hands. From what I gather, the storytelling in Halo 5 was just awful. Yeah, it was. Which is a shame, because I kind of liked it in 4. Yeah, I, Halo 5 is just such a... It, it was a really just a misfire. That's such a shame, because I thought there was plenty of good things about 4. Like, by the time they got to 4, they were trying to push the graphics so hard that yeah. just being on the Xbox 360 was limiting. I mean... Hmm, what the hell? Sorry. Either way, if you get to, like, the fifth game in that big of a series, you know, it's going to be hard to keep the momentum going. You know, there's going to be misses and... So who, hopefully they can bring it back. I mean, obviously it's still their biggest franchise. So I'll be all over. So excited. It, it's hard to keep people invested 20 years later. Be like, yeah. Final Fantasy 15. It's hard to keep people invested for that long. Yeah, like, well, like the hardcore fans like me. It's like, yeah, no, I can't wait. Like I can't wait for Final Fantasy years. But you know, casual people, it's just you know, some of them are just gonna tune out. Yeah. Uh, do you know if Final Fantasy VII Remake is uh, exclusive to Sony? That's what I thought. That's what I thought too, because uh, I was going to say, otherwise, I was going to say this would be a good opportunity. Right. To, if it's coming to your console, Microsoft, now's a good opportunity to show gameplay of it. <laughs> yeah, that would be that would be ideal. But I don't think it's coming to their console. I, I could I'm, be wrong. I, I'm pretty sure it's just so I can hear. Let me fucking Google it. What else from Microsoft? Uh, they're gonna show off a new Forza because they always show off a new Forza. Yeah, for sure, obviously. Uh, I want to know what ninja, what they've got Ninja Theory doing because Ninja Theory is kind of an interesting developer. Usually, pretty good at the uh, Devil May Cry, God of War style combat. Yeah. That last Devil May Cry was awesome. Yeah, and just 
just a quick update, Final Fantasy Remake is, is PlayStation 4, just a, just a PS4. Okay. I wasn't but, sure. No, all Never good. mind that. Scratch that. <laughs> they, uh, yeah, I mean, they'll, I hope they take, uh, honestly, they just need to show a shit ton of games. I think doing a new console would be a mistake right now. It, it could happen. I know that's one of the big rumors going into the show, but. Yeah, I, hope, I, I hope don't it. want them to show a new console this year. I want them to show off exclusive games. Not timed exclusive, not stretching the word exclusive, which they have done many times in the past. Yeah, yeah, 100% this is coming to Xbox, not coming to PS4. Yeah, and if they, I mean, if they say, you know, Halo Day 1 launch also on Microsoft Games Pass, that, that, that's going to be fucking huge. Yeah, that would be a big deal. I just I want to see a lot of games from them. I and I, I want you know AAA games and then indies just flood that fucking conference with games. Come out swinging. That's all they need to do. Yeah, that's that's exactly what they need to do. Flood it with a bunch of really fucking awesome games and variety too. Yeah. Not just not just your shoot your shooters like Halo and Gears and then your racing game, which is kind of what they're stereotyped. At. Right, because if you think about what the, the main ones that, that we that we can pretty much guess for sure they're going to show is going to be Halo, Gear, and Forza. And I'm also expecting Call of Duty, because Microsoft usually shows Call of Duty, which is another first-person shooter, so it's... <laughs> yeah. And, oh, please, I hope they show some Doom Eternal. It's not going to be exclusive, but I just want to see some Doom Eternal. <laughs> yeah, just show, just show the game. Because Doom, Eter Doom Eternal looks fucking phenomenal. Yeah, yes it does. And Doom 2016 was fucking phenomenal. Which leads us into the next conference, which is Bethesda on the 9th of June at 5.30 Pacific Time. That's all I've got here is the Pacific time and the Eastern time listed. Oh, okay. So, Bethesda should just start off with Todd Howard walking on stage and fucking apologizing. <laughs> I mean, Don't you think? No, honestly, no, because, you know, the game came out and it happened, so move on, you know. <laughs> that, God, I would laugh so hard. Like, Todd Howard just walks up on stage. We're sorry. We're really sorry, okay? <laughs> it, uh, it did not go well. But what What do they... Uh, we already got confirmation that they're not going to show off their two upcoming games. Which, Jesus Christ, Bethesda. So, them, I, them saying that they're not going to show Skyrim, as far as I'm concerned, they shouldn't have a fucking conference. I, I think they should show their games on, you know, Microsoft's and then... Whatever. I don't think they should have a conference if they're not coming out with start with us. Uh, with the Elder Scrolls, sorry. The, no Elder Scrolls, no Starbound is the other one, right? And not even a fucking trailer. It's Jesus. What? What are you doing? Yeah. What? I realize you just had a major release that you were basically tripping over yourself every fucking week with. Right. It's like every single day you wake up to the bad news about Fallout 76. But, have you got nothing prepared since last year for, a, like, a CG trailer? Nothing? Yeah, I'm trying to think what they have. Uh, one second, I'm looking this shit up. And they got other, I mean, Doom, they'll show off. They'll show off something with Consignor. Probably that, uh... Expansion pack for Wolfenstein. So yeah, bosses. they'll 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 show something Wolfenstein because that's kind of been their thing, and you know with Doom, obviously. But what else are they gonna? Probably some kind of expansion pack for Rage Two. Oh yeah, Rage Rage Two is cool. I really want to play it. The combat's supposed to be fucking phenomenal. Like best combat this side of Doom 2016, which, if you tell me that, I'm all in. Yeah. 
The only confirmed game they have for E3 is Doom Eternal. Huh? They have to have something, like, they have to have some kind of surprise in the pipeline, or what's the point? Yeah, this is on GameSpot. It's, it's, well, I mean, yeah, it's on GameSpot. The only confirmed one of them that they're confirmed they're going to show is Doom Eternal. Yeah, this conference could be a gigantic mistake. Yeah, I really think so. Jeez. Are they the ones that did the one that was like, was it Bethesda Land? They went through a couple different... Yeah, the Bethesda Land was a big mistake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I don't know. I, I guess it's cool they're doing it. I don't personally think they need a conference, especially with something like this year. If they're just... If you're going to be using that time, like, if you don't have that much, well, then you just fucking don't, don't show a conference. You, know, you don't have to. Yeah, they didn't need one two years ago when they did Bethesda Land. They did need one last year. They get granted the game that they showed off turned out to be a complete piece of shit, but that they did need one to show off seventy six. Yeah, I know that was they, a major title. Yeah, I, I would almost hedge a bet there would be some kind of new Fallout game announcement. But I was going to guess on what because you know if they've confirmed that they're not showing the Elder Scrolls Six and they're not showing Starbound or Starfield, whatever it is. I could, uh, I could see them doing a new Fallout announcement of something. Yeah, um, the rumor is swirling around again about a Fallout 3 remaster. Last year was the year to do it because it was the 10th anniversary, and maybe they didn't do it last year because of the impending release of 76. Oh, That's sure. a distinct possibility, so maybe they put it off to this year. I don't know, but I would love for a remaster of uh, Fallout 3, especially something that gets run on... Windows 10 because the game fucking hates Windows 10. Yeah, if, it, if it's a ground up remaster, I'm probably. But if you get that running it. on my PlayStation 4, I will happily play through it. Mm-hmm. I'll happily spend another 100 hours in the Capital Wasteland. <laughs> yeah, I guess they're gonna. It'll be interesting to see if they have any surprises or what they're gonna do, but. I mean, I'm looking forward to seeing Doom Eternal, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, obviously I'm going to tune in. Yeah, they'll have gameplay of... Uh, I'm almost certain they'll have gameplay of the two Wolfenstein projects they're working on, which is that co-op one where you're playing as uh, BJ Blazkowicz's daughters or whatever. Yeah, pass. And then the VR one, which I don't even remember what the fucking VR one is. Oh, VR. They're trying. Uh, then they will have uh, they might show off some kind of Dishonored but uh, I I would be a little bit surprised by that because Dishonored 2 did not sell particularly well no god no that 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 game bombed yeah it really did so that but the company Arcane is still around so they've got to be doing something yeah well they're I wouldn't be surprised if they were making a new Dishonored, but I never got, I, you know, honestly, I never cared about that series. That, it wasn't for yet. You know, people liked it. That's awesome. But it was just never for me. Yeah. I, I beat the first one and it felt like it had kind of an identity crisis to me. Yeah. So I'm not that wild about Dishonored either. You still there? Yeah, yeah. Hang on, it's breaking up again. You there? Yep. Okay. It, it broke up and I couldn't honestly uh, hear anything you were saying. Yeah, yeah uh, they have to have something down the pipeline or again. Why bother to have a conference? Yeah, hopefully we'll. I guess we'll we'll see. You just want to move on? Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's not really much more to say. Huh? There's not really much more to say about them. Yeah, Ubisoft. Well, there's Ju- yeah. Uh, uh, Ubisoft, June tenth. Four. Uh, 
at uh, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 1 p.m. Pacific. Um, obviously, immediate expectations for Ubisoft are um, Assassin's Creed and Far Cry. Yeah. I... I've heard rumors. I know there was some rumor floating around that there could be Assassin's Creed, like a Viking setting, which would be pretty cool. That I still want my, badass. I still want my fucking samurai setting, which they'll never give me because I want it, bastards. Yeah, but that Viking setting would be cool. Shit. Yo, that would be yeah, that would be cool as hell. I that I'm kind of like either one of those, man. That would be awesome. I and mean, so I'm definitely thinking that there's going to be a big Assassin's Creed focus on Ubisoft. You know, they'd be stupid not to. And then, you know, the yearly Far Cry, whatever this one will be. Yeah. Uh, Far Cry 6, probably. <laughs> yeah, I mean, whatever the setting is going to be. and Hopefully it'll be good. Some yeah, of the Far Cry games are really good. I think there's going to be a new Watch Dogs. I heard the rumor that there's like a London-based Watch Dogs was maybe leaked. Ubisoft, they're so bad about leaking their games before the conference. I know they do it on purpose, but yeah, I would. That. I, I Watch Dogs would surprise me a little bit because Watch Dogs Two did not perform well at all. That was a bomb. Yeah, it was. I, but I still, I still think that they're going to push that franchise more, and I could see them doing the announcement for a new one. I want a new Rayman. But not another 2D side scrolling Rayman game. Those are great. But yeah. I want one in vain with Rayman 2. Yeah, this will be a good year to do it. I mean, there's been so many reboots and everything. You know, with Crash, and Spyro, and like even Crash Team Racing came out. Yeah, following the trends of Crash and Spyro and either remake Rayman 2 or make a new 3D platformer Rayman game. Yeah platformer, 3D platformers are the mind of everybody, which it would also be a good time for a new fucking Ratchet and Clank, Insomniac. Oh man, tell me about it. Yeah. Chomping at the bit. I am impatiently waiting. Yeah. I get it. I get it, dude. I yeah. love them too. I love it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they're so good. The re that PS4 remake is just phenomenal. It's gorgeous. Yeah, it, it, it's so pretty. It's like you're, it's legit like you're playing a Pixar movie. Like, holy shit. Yeah. Uh, but uh, give me a new 3D Rayman game. That would make me so goddamn happy. And you're right, it is a good time to do it. I think what I want is the new Splinter Cell game because that's driving me insane that I, we haven't had one. Yeah, there's been rumors that they're bringing Splinter Cell back. I fucking hope so, but you know what? At the same time, every year there's rumors of Splinter Cell. <laughs> yeah. And it was a couple of years ago now that they had the DLC with Sam Fisher for like, yeah. what was it, Wildlands? Yeah, yeah. Where, where he, where they had uh, him, they didn't mention him by name, but they were talk. they had him talking about Solid Snake. Yeah. Which was cool. R.I.P. Metal Gear. Yeah. It's, but, it, it's a dead series now. It's one of my favorite series of all time, but if you, if it ain't... Uh, if it, it ain't... Went, uh, yeah. Kojima, it, was, it ain't Metal Gear. Yeah, it's not Kojima. He went out on a high note with that series, at least. Yeah. Uh, fucking give me some Death Stranding, because I'm excited. Yeah. That no <laughs> is, but. That's one of the ones, like... Th th there are four major exclusives coming to Sony's like four major exclusives coming to Sony's PlayStation 4 and we don't have a release date on any of them right there's Death Stranding there's Ghost of Tsushima there's The Last of Us 2 and then there's the Final Fantasy 7 remake we know those are coming we just All don't know three of those will be out before one of them I can guarantee you that yeah Final Fantasy 7 remake is still a long way very, very, very long way. Yeah, that, it's not even worth getting excited about at this point. No, not really. But what else for Ubisoft? I mean, if they do split, they do the Splinter Cell. I'll, I'll lose my shit. And... Are they going to show off more Beyond Good and Evil without giving a release date? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think they'll do some brief gameplay. I think they'll do like an on-stage game demo of it. 
and then not give a release date. Right. I mean, suppose behind closed doors, apparently it's phenomenal and like game changing and all this shit. Wow. But I just want a goddamn release date for it. Like, I feel like you guys announced this so long ago that it started its life as a PlayStation Three and Xbox yeah. 360 game. Give us a fucking release date. I personally don't think it's a current gen game. I think it's a next gen. So it's going to skip an entire generation. I think so. Yeah, I, I, I fully see that being a next gen game. Yeah. Uh, More Ubisoft. Um, I, I'm sure that. What is their racing series that they do? Oh shit. Fucking what is that? Is it the um Is that one with like planes and boats yeah, and shit? Yeah, yeah. I know exactly I know what you mean. That's what I was doing there. You like race across America? Yeah. It would be cool to see a new one of those, whatever it's called. Yeah. Ubisoft racing game. The crew. Yes, that's it. The crew. Thanks. We might see the crew three. Yeah. That Speaking of part threes, I know this is going back to EA, but give me a new fucking skate. No, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Here's uh, something that doesn't even have a conference, but uh, Capcom. So. Dino I, Crisis. It's a rumor. It's God a rumor. Damn it. going. It's going around right now. Like. If that happens, man, uh, yeah, it, you know what? I would I would love for a new one, but I would love for like a pack of remastered. You know, it was a remake you know. of Dino Crisis like you did RE2. Oh, God, wouldn't that be phenomenal? Yeah, uh, and oh, yeah. just a few days ago, GameStop tweeted about who, who would be excited for a new Dino Crisis at E3. And then they mysteriously deleted their tweet a few hours yeah. later. Who wouldn't be excited? Like, oh my god, dude, that's one of my favorite series of all time. It's also one of like the most frustrating because there's no reason for that to have been sitting on the shelf. Kind of like Dead Space, where it's like, the fuck, man? Oh, we should have talked about that during EA. A new Dead Space would be amazing. That would, Especially yeah. if it goes back to its roots like the first one. You know what? The first one's such a good game. I'll go on record and say that if EA gives me a new Dead Space, I will buy Battlefront 2 and I'll buy all the fucking microtransactions that they want me to. <laughs> I'll go and get it right now. Just give me yeah. a new Dead Space. Can't say I blame you. I, I, want, I would love to get a new Dead Space. Not like three. Like no. One. No. No. The first two are masterpieces. Yeah. Hold up extremely well, too. Yeah, I should yeah, love to play the first one someday. It's so good. Oh god, yeah, it still looks good too. But yeah, trailing of going back, I I wanted to mention that earlier, but I forgot. But yeah, definitely Dino Crisis, man. I would love to see Dino Crisis. That would be amazing. Yeah. Uh, Square Onyx has one on June tenth at six p.m. Yeah. Want to wow. talk about that? Yeah, I, why do they have one? I don't know. Well, they have bought up a number of different studios. Like they own the the guys that uh, make the Just Cause games. Oh, they own... yeah, they know. So there'll be a yearly Just Cause that will come out. That they own the company that makes uh, the Tomb Raider reboot games, which. I haven't those, played the second or third one, but the first Tomb Raider reboot is fucking awesome. Yeah, those are those are great games. Keep making them, love them. Yeah, so I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a new Tomb Raider. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they'll probably show something about the Final Fantasy VII remake. But do you think we'll see a new one, a new Final Fantasy? 16? Yes, yes. If if they have a conference, then I think that a new Final Fantasy will almost surely be shown in some form. Yeah, and probably DLC for Kingdom Hearts 3. 
Yeah, I I love that the last Final Fantasy. I fucking adore that everything about that game. I love the road trip aspect of it. And I love the characters, but I would also really, really, really love to see a return to kind of like the classic Final Fantasy. Yeah. Well, like take Bravely Default, and make it a big budget console game kind of uh, thing. Yeah. Call yeah. Final Fantasy 16. Yeah, yeah. something. Like- you know, just give me flying airships and all that shit. You know? Yeah, that will make me so goddamn happy. <laughs> just it, give me the four crystals. It, yep. You know, you have no idea how happy you would make me as if as if you got on stage and go, "This game has the four crystals of the elements." I I agree. I definitely think they're going to show one though. I mean, it, it's time. It is. Uh, what what. Final Fantasy 15 was what three years ago now? Yeah, and if you look at how long it took that game to come out, hope you know, hopefully they do show Final Fantasy 16 because it'll be 16 years till it fucking comes out. I'm sure. Yeah, that's what bo- that's what bothers me about Square nowadays is that they're taking forever to do anything. Yeah, uh, they really Kingdom are. Kingdom Hearts 3 took like a decade. Final Fantasy 15 took like a decade. Yeah, I get that they changed the entire game completely, like, what, midway through? Mm-hmm. They kind of rebuild it from the ground up, but they they can't... I don't think they can afford to just to keep doing that. I think if they, they show 16, you know, yeah, it's not going to come out there, you know, this coming holiday, but still at least give a glimmer of hope that it's going to be a lot sooner. Yeah, don't leave us hanging on like, this game's going to come out and... Years. Yeah, and I, I just hope that it's not they're gonna rest on Final Fantasy VII remake and not show a new Final Fantasy. I, I really want to see a new one. Yeah. Do you see that article that I think it was Kotaku put out where they were bitching about Barrett's voice in the remake? I try not to read Kotaku. Even I saw go- it because the quartering talked about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're the fucking worst. They really are, but uh, the, one of the one of the things that they brought up the article was I haven't played the original seven, and I was like, "Then you don't know what the fuck you're talking about." Right? Yeah, it it makes no sense. Because I I have played the original seven. It's not one of my favorites, but I do like it, and I can tell you that Barrett kind of being a loudmouth in the trailer fits well with his personality in the fucking game. I know I can I can get trolled for this comment, but I think Seven's like really overrated. You and me both. Like, I don't get me wrong. I it's like good. Seven, I, but I don't it, love. It. I like it, but to me, it's just like because I had put it on like not too long ago. And it's just like to me, it's I don't know. I never was a huge part of the Seven fan. Like they've built it up so much over the years. Just based on the characters, not the actual game, you know, Cloud and Sephiroth and everything. But to me, that game is so overrated. I mean, give me nine over that game. Fuck that. Nine is amazing. Yeah, it really is. Nine is absolutely amazing. Um, but yeah, they if they're gonna have a conference like that, they need to bring a big gun. It's like, tell us that you're working on Final Fantasy 16. Don't don't yeah. just show us the. Final Fantasy 7, the remake that we knew about four years ago. Yeah, and don't show just like a Final Fantasy 16 logo either. Just show something other than that. Just yeah, even if it's just a CG trailer. Yeah, which is, I mean, I'm 100% positive. That's all it'll be. Yeah, I would be fine with that. Just know, just yeah. give us a trailer that gives us some story bits. Plus, you can at least with a with a CG Final Fantasy trailer, you can at least go, okay, here's gonna kind of be like what the setting is, and probably the characters. Like, you can get a feel for a Final Fantasy game pretty quickly based on one of those. Yeah. It's gonna be interesting. I yeah. I can't imagine why else they'd be holding a uh, press conference of their own for that. Uh, yeah. Because as much as I love, uh, like, Tomb Raider and shit, that, that's not going to carry a press conference to the mainstream audience as quite right. like the announcement of a new Final Fantasy would be. 
Yeah. And like I said earlier, I think they'll announce something for Kingdom Hearts. I think they'll show off some 7 gameplay. They might show off a new Just Cause. They might show off uh, a new Tomb Raider game. But I thought the last... But they might not as well because the last Tomb Raider game was supposed to end the end like a trilogy that they were working on. Yeah, but I think that's like the young Laura trilogy. I think that the new one will be more of like an adult. I mean, she's not young, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Okay, uh, the last one. Yep. Because Sony is not showing up at this year's E3. Is Nintendo on June 11th at 9 a.m. Yeah, I'm so fucking excited. I love Nintendo. Oh my god. Yeah, and um, show off Metroid Prime 4, please. I, I'm pretty so. I believe it's it's either this week or next week. They're doing a direct, and it's a Pokemon Switch direct. So they're going to show off a ton, which. I mean, I, I just want to, like, freeze Cartman, freeze myself until that Pokemon Switch game comes out. But yeah. I think that the reason they're doing that is because I, I think the, the their main conference direct will be dedicated to Metroid, or at least a, a lot yeah. of Metroid. I, I don't want them to do, like, five minutes of a bunch of different games up front, and yeah. then 30 minutes of one game like they did right. last year. And don't get me wrong. Nothing against Smash, but it got to the point where I was like, okay, I'm ready for you guys to move on from Smash. Yeah, yeah, they just kind of kept on it, and I, was, I, I, I agree. I mean, I, well, they have been doing so fucking great the past few years, you know, so it's like, I'm so excited for them this year. Plus, I, I really cannot wait to see more of the new Luigi's Mansion. Yeah, show some Luigi's Mansion. Please, for the love of God, show off the new Metroid. Please. Yeah, they They'll got... show some Pokemon. I, yeah, I mean, the Pokemon's going to have its own, and yeah, they'll show more on the conference, too, or the, yeah. their direct, but I really wish they had an actual stage conference this year. Yeah, I bet. I, even though some of their stage conferences, like, what was it, 2007 when they announced... Uh, Wii Music, I think. Yeah, no, there was the one that they closed with the Wii Resort, the sports resort game. Yeah, they came with the Wii U. And yeah, I've heard a rumor about that, and I can't confirm this, this was just a rumor I heard. They were supposed to close with Star Fox Zero, and it wasn't ready, so they wound up having uh, to do the last minute. Uh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense, but again, take it with a grain of salt. Yeah, makes sense, though. This will fix Star Fox. Yeah. Uh, either make a new Star Fox game, or take Star Fox Zero and put it on the Switch. And yeah. give it a traditional control scheme. I guarantee you that reviews will be much kinder to it mm -hmm. if you do that. I wonder if they're going to do the rumored smaller switch console yeah there's been rumors of either a smaller switch console or like an overclocked more powerful version of it yeah. like sony and microsoft did and i don't think they need that i mean i would i'm such a nintendo fan and i love my switch so much that i would probably i'll buy whatever they put out but yeah i don't think i just don't think they need that straight up and honest the X is awesome. Yeah. It is really fucking awesome. I love the Xbox. Like, I did a video review of it. And if you guys want to check that out, the link is... Uh, uh, it's on the channel. Or you guys can go over to uh, my BitChute account and watch the full version there. Because it's got movie clips and I ain't fucking with putting movie clips on YouTube. No, thank you. I will get it flagged yeah. so fast. I don't even want to whistle a song on YouTube. Yeah. But I wanted to talk about its media playing capabilities. That's why I put a yeah. separate version of it up on uh, BitChute. 
Yeah, I, I haven't. I, I won't get one. So bad. For the most part, it's actually a good media player. Um, I, I've I've got so many because I've got like the Apple TV and then like a, the new four the four K TV I bought has like a great built in like you know the smart TV is awesome on it. So like, I don't really I don't use a console for like anything media now. It's doing just games. Yeah. Oh, I use it as a DVD, Blu-ray, yeah. 4K player. Is what I use it for. Besides games, obviously. Obviously, I use it for games. Yeah, right, right. But I bought a couple of 4K Blu-rays and it upscales some DVDs to 4K, which is really nice. And when it upscales to 4K, the picture looks clean, clear, mm-hmm. and crisp. But any text on screen is fuzzy and looks like you're wearing drunk goggles. Weird. <laughs> yeah, it is kind of weird, but what can you do? Um, yeah, anyway. I guess if if they do if they do like a high powered switch, I would be I mean I would be super surprised. I don't think it's needed, but yeah, I would I would find a smaller one without, like, detachable controllers would be pretty interesting. Yeah. If I had a Switch, and I will eventually get one, but if I had a Switch, I'd mostly use it as a console, because I don't really do that much in, in terms of portable gaming anymore. I know I know that a lot of people prefer, like, the handheld. I prefer it on the dock and playing on my TV. However, like... It's so seamless and so smooth, and the screen is really nice on that thing that I love playing in handheld too. I mean, I prefer on TV, but I will happily sit and play that handheld switch all day. Yeah, I'm not knocking the handheld switch. Uh, yeah, I just I would personally do what you do and use it more as a yeah. home console. Yeah, that's that, I mean that's just how I like it. And I'd be tempted to get the Pokemon for it, just for the sake of nostalgia, because I haven't played Pokemon since Red and Blue. I cannot wait for that freaking game. So, the but the idea of playing a traditional Pokemon game... On the console, yeah. On a console. I've always <laughs> wanted them to do that, and they've never no, I just, Yeah, I mean, I remember just being a kid, you know, with the Pokemon games, and thinking to myself, like, how amazing would this be if I could play on my 64, you know? Yeah. And, ever, like, ever since they came out, I have always wanted a console Pokemon game. I got Pokemon Snap, which was the picture taken one, and I played the shit out of that game. I took fucking pictures of every guy. I took pictures of their assholes. I mean, I did not stop playing that game. Yeah, then there was, uh... Wasn't there one other one that was like, uh, you just took your games from your Game Boy onto the N64 and just fought with them or something yeah there's uh, and they, they put that I can't, I can't remember what it was though and they they put that switch pokemon game out recently but i didn't i didn't play the sign it was the one where you had like the ball and you would have to throw it and i don't know yeah, when you start, let's go pikachu and let's go yeah, Eevee, right yeah if, if i have to put my controller down and like pick something else up to use i'm pretty bad about doing that so just, i just want to use my controller i got the pro controller and I, that's my favorite controller ever so that's all I need. Just give me the game. Yeah, I don't blame you there. Uh, but I th- wouldn't that supposed to be some sort of a remake of Red and Blue, though? I, yeah, I think so. Yeah, but it had like some kind of gimmicky stuff, like the the phone game. Yeah. Which I, I had no interest in the phone game. Like I, I don't use my phone for nope. gaming, like period, ever. Yeah, no, no. Ever since I I had that Simpsons tap tapped out game, and then I started spending real money because I wanted Spider Pig, and I was like, oh, I need to fucking stop this. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Someone make a sequel to the Simpsons game. Last make a gen. make a new like yeah that that game was fantastic just make a new one yeah that'd be awesome someone needs to do that 
Nintendo should There's... announce that at their conference. That'd be badass. I would love to see, and I don't want it to be based on the current designs because it's garbage, but I would love to see a new, awesome Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game. Yeah. Just, man, that, that fucking franchise, I can't believe what they're doing to it right now. Yeah, I, I don't even want to watch the new show because I fucking hate the way they look. I, I fucking hate it. Like, they, they've changed everything about it. Like the Nickelodeon reboot from 2007 or whenever it was, I can get I can get behind that look. That, was that look isn't bad. Great show, yeah. And I've heard the show itself is great, and I'd like to sit down and watch it someday, but the new one? Oh, I hate the one. The new one is... It is absolute hot garbage. The look of it, and they cha- I mean, they changed a bunch of characters. I just... Ugh. Yeah, don't fuck with the dynamic. Like, like, don't fuck with the way that the turtles have always been. I've heard Raph is the leader for some strange... Why the yeah, fuck would you yeah. make Raph the leader? He is, and they have, like, they have, like, magical powers and shit. And... Leo is the leader, goddammit. They look stupid. I don't know. Yeah. April's, like, a little girl. Huh. I, I just don't get it. Yeah, but a new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game, like, base it off of off of the uh, 80s TV show or something would be yeah. fucking awesome. But, like, I mean, those old brawlers, you know, they were so fun, you know, pizza power-ups and shit you know it's like i would love to see a new old school ninja turtles game i I, that would that would be so fun i'm trying to think what else for nintendo because i don't want to at least close them out i had i was thinking i had something right on top of my mind and i can't fucking think of it now right god damn it um I mean, obviously all the Pokemon stuff, you know, Metroid. Yeah, fucking Metroid. Super Metroid's my favorite, probably my favorite Nintendo game, period. I love that game to death. That's a great, it's a great game, yeah. Uh, I want to see more of the uh, remake of Link's Awakening. Yeah. And that game is fucking phenomenal. And, and yeah. people bitch about the, uh, the art design in it. And I'm like, it was always kind of cartoony, so I really don't care. Mm-hmm. Uh, but give me that Link's Awakening remake. I'll get a Switch just for fucking that. You know? Yeah, yeah it, Breath of the Wild is... I can't... I, I'll be on here fucking for ten hours talking about how great that game is, but... Yeah. I, uh, yeah, Nintendo should be... I'm excited. I, I think they can... I think they'll have another killer year, so... Yeah, as long as they don't spend 30 minutes on one game again, I'm good. Yeah, but if that game was Metroid, I'd probably let it slide. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I might let that slide. Right. I love Metroid that much. But <laughs> as a general rule, I don't want anybody to spend 30 minutes on yeah. one game. And that's not just a Nintendo thing. I wouldn't want Sony to spend 30 minutes like... All right, we're going to spend 30 minutes talking about The Last of Us. And I'm like, I'm excited for The Last of Us 2. But no. I don't even need to... I honestly, I don't need to see gameplay or trailer for Last of Us 2. I just know that I want it. I'm good. Yeah, and give us a release date. You saw it like three years in a row. Give us a release date. I'm assuming they're going to say November or December. Yeah, they need to give us a release date for that. They need to give us a release date for Ghost of Tsushima and Death Stranding. Ghost of Tsushima. enough gameplay. So I'm going to say Ghosts, uh, this is my prediction, I know this isn't E3, but I'm going to say Ghosts of Tsushima, or however you say it, comes out in October, Death Stranding, November, Last of Us 2, December. Oh my god, imagine how many consoles th- that would sell. Yeah, I, I, can, I can see it happening, I mean, I would, I would say that the only one that I could maybe not would be the Ghosts of Tsushima, I don't know how far along that is, I think, you know, that's stranding like that's gotta be you know <laughs> gotta be getting there yeah i know that they don't want to push kojima because let him take his time and, yeah but kojima's also kind of a notorious perfectionist yeah. so if you let him take his time just forever and never push him i mean probably never be done 
I would take a bullet for the guy because I love him so much, but man, somebody just tell him to stop going out to movies all the time and finish his fucking game. <laughs> yeah, I know. He's always, I w- this guy's always posting his, like, a, I mean, he's a legend. Yeah, he, he's always posting, he's always doing shit. I'm like, damn it, finish the game. <laughs> yeah, I'm the exact same way. Like, <laughs> I, I love you to death, Kojima. Yeah. I know. I I the day, get, get back to work. What are you doing? He needs a handler. That's what it is. He needs a handler. Someone's like, you don't need to go hang out with Norman Reedus. Like, you're fine. Like, go yeah. work on the game. You know what I would love to see? Uh, this is never going to fucking happen, but... Uh... Uh... God damn it. Because Konami either sells the Silent Hill franchise or licenses it out to another company to make a new Yeah, yeah, that would be... And I know who I want to make the new. Because this would be amazing. I think they would do an amazing job. Wait for Naughty Dog to finish The Last of Us 2 and let them take a crack. That would be, yeah, that'd be great. Because Naughty Dog proved that they can do the intense atmosphere horror kind of thing with the first The Last of Us. Because when you're dealing with the clickers in that game, you can't tell me that shit doesn't make your heart pound. Right. So I would love to see what they could do with the Silent Hill franchise. And given that they have good writers that almost certainly love the series and understand it, I think they could do a very good job of it. Yeah, I agree. I, that would be awesome. I also think the team that made uh, the infamous games could do a really good one. Yeah, the, they got to finish Ghost of Ghost of That's right. Shima, whatever it's called. God damn it! I keep forgetting that they're the ones working on that game. That's right. Yeah. However, the fuck you pronounce that shit. It looks awesome. So. I like Samurai's man. Just give me a bitch about the Assassin's Creed. Give me a fucking Samurai game. I would love to see a new Tenchu. Oh, Nintendo could announce that. That'd be pretty sweet. That would be really cool. <laughs> I'm saying that like that's actually gonna fucking happen. Nintendo's gonna focus on Nintendo games. Yeah. I mean, I'm not. I know I'm not gonna get one, but any other, any other big games you want to see? I know. I want to see more Cyberpunk. I don't know how much it'll be of the oh, show. God, yes. That that'll probably be at Microsoft. I, uh, I that gameplay trailer that they showed for it was just God. <laughs> That's one of those games that I try not to think about because I'm so excited that you know and then it makes the weed worse. But I'm really pumped for it. Yeah, I'm really pumped. For that. I think one of my predictions is the new Bioshock game this year. Yeah, I've been hearing hearing rumblings about a potential new Bioshock. Yeah, I, I would but, love uh, it. Speaking yeah. of shock, though, show System Shock, because there are two yeah. System Shock games in the works. One yeah. of them is a remake of the first one, which we've already seen gameplay for, little bits and pieces here and there. Like, if you follow the company on Twitter, they love to talk about it, and they love to do live streams about it, and all kinds of shit. Yeah. And then there's a sequel to System Shock 2 with the works as well. That we haven't seen anything from, except a CG trailer, a brief CG teaser trailer. But show that off, please. Also, please show me some of that. I want to see what was it? I, you know what? I lost it. I had one on my mind. I wanted to see, but I don't know. I think we had a pretty good crop. I'm trying to think of any last. Yeah, because who knows what Sony's doing, and whenever they show theirs, there's you know we could have to do a podcast when when they announce theirs, we'll do a podcast with like a prediction for that. Yeah, whenever they announce what they're gonna do, because Sony has plenty they can talk about. Yeah, showing the new fucking Shinmu game, goddamn it. Yeah, someone should show the new Shinmu game. I don't think that's exclusive to Sony, is it? It's not but I just don't see it being anywhere but their conference. Yeah. I I just, I feel like they're the ones who are, you know, it's going to come out on the Xbox, but 
they don't really seem as keen. I mean, I, I just, I, I see that as a PlayStation game. Yeah. Which is kind of weird because the U.S. release of Shenmue 2 was Xbox One, or the yeah. original Xbox. Yeah. God damn it, why'd you have to name your system the Xbox One? Yeah, I play it like <laughs> Shenmue 2 is fantastic. Shenmue 1 is my second favorite game. No. Shenmue so we, 1, I, I played it so much on the Dreamcast back in the day. It's oh, fucking dude. Phenomenal. Yeah, I never stopped. And I, I was just like, I was so obsessed with that game. Just everything about it. Yeah. I wish I, wish I could have like moved to Japan, like wandered around a fucking town and shit. Asking people to be immersed in that fucking world they created. Oh, just, it's oh. so great. My only issue is like things that I've seen from the new one, it's set on that island that just doesn't look nearly as interesting to me, but I hope I'm wrong. Yeah. I'm really looking forward to shit in Move 3, and it's about time that they get yeah. like a full on gameplay trailer and shit. For sure. Show us, show us that. Show us shit in Move 3. Let us know that it's still coming. Is it? Did, did they ever release the remaster of it? Shouldn't uh, uh, they? They did the a, HD. They were more like HD ports than remasters, uh, but yeah, they did come out. Yeah. Okay. I'll have to pick that up then. Yeah, I still need to pick that up too. A PlayStation 4 version, play it in 1080p. I think, I think they did give it HDR support, which is pretty nice. Which <laughs> HDR support on a Dreamcast ass game? Yeah. <laughs> kind of weird, but it looks sharp in HD and runs well. Yeah, I'll check it out then. Yeah, but um. Other than that, like, should be, I, I, it's going to be one of those weird E3s, and especially because there's going to be so much talk of, like, you know, people pulling out of the show, but. Yeah. I also, and I know this is, I, I just, I hope this isn't the year of the subscription service where fucking everyone announces one, because I'm so sick of them. Yeah. Yeah. Live in constant fear. I don't want the all digital future that I keep hearing about. God damn it! I, I want physical copies of my game. Well, that and I'm just I'm so tired of everything being the ten dollars a month, and it's like every fucking company is doing it. And I know I am. Uh, I'm just so I'm I'm over it. Yeah. But I just it feels like it's gonna be a weird P3. Yeah. Because you always get, a, it seems like you always get a E3 that's kind of a lull as yeah. you're about to enter a new generation. You know what I mean? Yep. Yeah, and I, I think that may be where we're at this year. But Microsoft, this is your opportunity. Fucking bring it. God, if they ever had like the best chance ever it's this year. Yeah, because my Sony isn't even showing up, which is weird to say, which yep. it gives me fear that E3 is dying. I mean, it is dying, but it's which sucks because I this is one of my favorite times of the year. Every single year, I love E3. Yeah, but everyone just kind of wants to do their own, and you know everything's leaked in ahead of time. Yeah, and you and I have been sitting down to talk about E3 far longer than we've been purporting ourselves doing it. Oh yeah, for sure. I and mean, we're talking dating back to like the PlayStation 2 days we were doing this shit. Yep. Because yeah. I, I remember. I remember doing E3 parodies in our podcast. In our, not our podcast, our webcomic. That we yeah. Did. Yeah. You're, you remember we, we originally we came up with the name Digital Delirium. That was the version of E3. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From Palm to Eternity. Yeah. That was a great, that was great stuff. Yeah, I loved it. <laughs> uh, I mean, it, w it was kind of generic, run-of-the-mill. Everybody yeah. did the gamers living together, going to throw in a bunch of parodies kind of nonsense. Yeah. We were just another one of that crowd, but I enjoyed it. God oh, damn it. I thoroughly did. enjoyed making those comics. It was fun. That was a blast. It really was. <sighs> so are we wrapping up here? Hmm? Are we wrapping up the E3 or? Yeah. 
we will talk to you guys after E3. Yep. Looking forward to I'm still kind of pissed off that we never did the one where we talked about Fallout 76 and how it was such a gigantic mess. Uh, what to do? We to talk about the Soldier Gang. Yeah, we can do like a flop podcast soon. <laughs> but I wouldn't. We mind. can talk about that and Anthem and Soldier Boy. Yeah, fucking Anthem. Fuck <laughs> God damn it! I didn't want Anthem to be a gigantic flop. I wanted it to be a success. I wanted it to be the Iron Man game. Yeah, as soon as I saw the actual gameplay, I'm like, oh, yeah, no. It's just hopping around in a suit. You can fly, but it's just fucking stupid. It's just Destiny with a fight. Yeah. Such a, such a shame. Such wasted potential. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, let's go ahead and end this. Uh, Thank you, everybody, for listening. Please like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would be greatly appreciated. We'll talk to you guys next time. Thanks, everybody, and goodbye. See ya.